it's almost as mean for you guys to have this Yeah, game. yeah, we needed to play well. Um, you know, we got off to a good start tonight and, and, you know, played pretty well through most of the game. Got on our heels a little bit defensively in the third quarter. Um, but, you know, and had to kick some field goals early offensively. But I thought it was a good, solid football game. You know, to me, you know, the biggest thing for our, for our football team is we've gone two weeks in a row without turning the ball over, you know. And so that's been such a point of an emphasis for us that that's just been a – it's good to see that. It's good to see all the work that uh, you put in and the players put in to understand kind of how important that is. And, you know, we created three, three turnovers on defense, which was awesome. Um, you know, when the th turnover battle 3-0. And so that's – that's a big part of the reason, you know, we won the football game. So, um, yeah, it was good to play well at home. Seemed like our guys were dialed in. Had a really nice week of practice. Guys were excited to play. You know, the things that we talked to them about were really important. Felt like it was really uh, important for us to get off to a fast start tonight, and and we did. And so, you know, we played pretty clean football. So I was glad to see it. UCF being a complete game in the first half this year. Was that yeah. more of a complete game in the first half, you think? Um, it was, yeah, I, th I thought we played pretty well. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, both of them played, we played good, you know, for the most part, the first half. Wish we would have finished better, obviously, against Central Florida, but, um, you know, we, we did tonight, and that's a good football team. We have good players. I mean, it's a lot of the same guys that played in the Big 12 championship last year, and I know things haven't gone their way, but, but they're a talented team and, and a scary team, honestly. It was, I was concerned all week, um, you know, just, about their ability to, to go out and play really well. Uh, and just like I said, proud of our guys for getting off to a good start. And, and I think that was really important. Um, you know, and, and credit to their to, to Oklahoma State. I mean, they play hard. I mean, when they're they, – they, they haven't shown any, any signs of quit at all in them and, and thought they played really hard tonight. Ball yeah. How important was that? Yeah, that's big. I mean, getting ball eligible is big for our program. You know, we're still um, – you know, trying to develop a little bit of an identity. You know, it's kind of been big swings, um, and we don't want that to be the case, you know, long term. And so, you know, it's going to be a lot of extra practice time and, um, you know, things that we need. Now our goal is to, you know, to, to finish really strong. You know, I think it's important for this football team to finish strong. I think we're – we've said it over and over again. I think we're a good team. I think we're starting to kind of hit our stride a little bit, hopefully. I think it's a good time for an open week. You know, we get a chance to heal up a little bit. We hopefully get some defensive players back that have been banged up a little bit, which will help us for the stretch run the last two weeks. And, and uh, you know, we get to play Arizona at home, and that'll be a, another tough game. About the no turnovers, that last drive of the first half, Josh was 8 of 8 through the air. How, how big was that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, th I thought – you know, you can tell that we're starting to take some, some strides, you know, offensively, and guys are getting more settled in and executing at a higher level. And, you know, you see – you're starting to see more precision, and that's really what you want to see. You know, to me, it's it's about being able to go out and execute at a really high level and be precise with, you know, routes and throws, and, and that to me is, is kind of the magic. Um, and it seems like we're, we're starting to hit our strides a little bit in that, in that regard. Over six yards of carry tonight. Yeah. Yeah, that was big. Obviously, Jordan's play helped, but that was that was big. Um, I think we were running the ball better. You know, we ran it pretty consistently. You know, tonight we called a lot of kind of RPO stuff where we, you know, we, we didn't run it into a bad box, and so that helped us uh, a little bit with our average, and and you know, and ended up throwing the ball probably a little bit more than we wanted to, but but it was a little bit of a heavy box, and so you know, we didn't want to run into into bad numbers. <clears throat> pretty impressive with the takeaways tonight, especially getting. Ollie Gordon to fumble the football. How big was that for y'all defensively? Yeah, I thought early, especially, especially big. You know, because we we had a you know we missed a field goal and then we kind of we got down the red zone twice and and had to kick a field goal and then missed a field goal and and kind of let them hang around for a little bit and and I thought to me that getting that turnover, um, you know, when Ollie fumbled was huge. You know, and it was we did a good job stripping the ball and recovering it and. That to me allowed us to separate a little bit and, and take control of the game to an extent, um, you know, which I thought was really important. It's a big momentum play in the game. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought they played hard. I mean, I thought I thought we did. I thought we, you know, we played hard. They Oklahoma State to their credit kept running the ball and and um, you know it paid some dividends, especially like I said in the third quarter and early in the fourth, but. 
you know, we were a little depleted, but um, I thought our guys played hard. I thought we tackled well. You know, I think that was the big thing. We didn't we didn't give up um, any big runs. You know, I think number 80 is a really, really good receiver. I mean, Presley's like a – I mean, that guy's one of the best receivers in the Big 12. And, you know, I thought he really played well tonight. I thought Bowman threw the ball well. Um, but, you know, we got off the field with the turnovers, and then we got off the field some on, on third down as well. And, you know, we were fortunate enough to be able to score points and at least drive the football – you know, when we needed to, and I think we only punted once, and that was late in the game, and so, you know, I was pretty proud of the, the consistency that we played with on both sides of the ball tonight. I thought we played well on special teams. thought we covered kicks well. You know, had a good little, I think, a 31-yard kickoff return, so I, I thought we did some good things on teams. A lot of good playmakers in Big 12. Everyone talks about Travis Hunter being the most versatile, but what do you think about Savion's and just the way he's been able to be versatile? For you guys? Yeah, I mean, I think, look, you know, the sign of great football players is that they do what they have to do to help their team win. And, and Savion does that. I mean, we've, we've asked him to do stuff that he hasn't really done since high school. And he's never, you know, he's never hesitated for one minute doing things that we've asked him to do. And I mean, it takes a toll on him physically, you know, he shows up on Sunday and can barely get out of bed Sunday. And then by about Wednesday, he can practice a little bit. And, you know, and he's done that and has never, never wavered, you know, and, and that's what great players do is they do what, what, whatever they have to do to help their team win. And he's been an incredibly unselfish player and been, you know, I, I think that's permeated our program. And, and uh, you know, that's the kind of stuff that has a lasting legacy even when he's gone. Just uh, that becomes the expectations where guys, you know, put their teammates first and, and you know, play for, play for TCU, and, and that's, that's what you want. So I think it's been incredibly valuable just from a big picture standpoint. He's also a really good player, obviously, but but just the other stuff, you know, has a lasting Im impact. Coach, how much do you think the ability to run more balanced offense helps with the less? Turnovers? It does, yeah, yeah. When you when you've got some balance and you you know you can stay ahead of the chains a little bit, that keeps people from heating you up and pressuring your quarterback. And when that happens, then you know, um, you know, then you can stay ahead of the chains, and that's to me that's the big thing. We didn't have a, a bunch of third and longs, and fortunately, when we did, we were able to get the ball out. You know, to me, one of the big plays of the game was um, you know Josh completing that long pass to Eric McAllister on our sideline, you know, early in the third quarter, and and you know making that play and converting that third down, we go down and score off of that, and that was a huge play in the game. Um, but yeah, I think it just takes a lot of pressure off of your quarterback. You know, where where he doesn't feel like he has to make all the plays all the time, and. When you could turn around, hand it off, get four or five yards, and, and continue to do that, then I mean it's a huge it's a huge relief for for the quarterback. We'll go two more questions for Coach. If you have them. Do you think the offensive line has found a little bit more consistent play? Yeah, yeah, I think so. You know, it was good to see some guys out there. You know, Ryan Hughes played left tackle for us as a true freshman. A, a series tonight. It was good to to see Ryan out there and he's going to be a really good player and we're excited about him and you know when he went in the game he didn't even notice he was in there um but <clears throat> yeah I mean I think that group is really is again starting to kind of hit their stride a little bit and I think that um you know playing with more confidence I think they're it's a new group a lot of new faces and, and I, I do think they're starting to to play together and and communicate and do all the things that that they have to do to play at a really high level and you know and I think that I think Josh believes in them, and I think they believe in Josh in terms of that he's not going to stand back there and hold the ball forever. You know, they know that they, they have confidence that the ball's coming out, and he has confidence in them that they're going to give him an opportunity to get the ball out. And, and when you have that, then, then guys can perform at a high level. And as I said earlier, it takes pressure off of your, your uh, offense and really off your quarterback. And so when you can have that kind of faith and, and, and pass protection, and also, too, when you can run the ball consistently, that, that makes a huge difference. And I do think the group is um, – you know, as I said, kind of starting to come into their own and playing, playing well. Final okay, thank you guys. No turnovers for the offense. Just how does it feel to be getting into a rhythm in that regard? Hey, we're just going out there playing, making plays, doing touchdowns. I mean, I don't worry about that. And, um, you know, that's not who I am. That's not who we are as an offense. We're just a bunch of fearless guys that go out there and make plays. And we got a bunch of ballers. So, you know, when you got guys like that, you don't, you know, you don't worry about those statistics. You do what you can to prepare, and then you trust yourself and you go ball. So proud of our guys for trusting themselves, playing fearless, and, and doing a great job in that regard. How's it feel to be bowl eligible? 
Oh, it feels great. Uh, it's a great feeling to know that you extend your season. And um, so we're excited about that, excited about that opportunity. And uh, I can't wait to, um, you know, keep this thing rolling and, and finish strong in our regular season and then uh, see what, you know, where, where that leads us to. So uh, it's a great feeling. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's awesome. Proud of our guys for, for getting it done, coaches, everybody. How much do you think this package will save you on just the team that helps all, open, open off? Yeah, it's it does a lot of different things for us, and uh, it's another way for us to you know just get kind of seems like you know easy yards and and not easy yards because there's no yards that are easy, um, but it's just another way for us to get you know quick yards and, and to get him on the perimeter and just get him doing different things with the ball in his hands. You know, and it's a fact that when he has the ball in his hands, he does great things. So uh, I think Coach Browles, the entire offensive staff, has done a great job continuing to develop that that little package we have and. I think it's helped us a lot. So um, it, it's taken a lot of pressure off our offense and off our some of the other aspects of the offense and uh, allows us to be a little bit more balanced. And so that's uh, just a credit to Savion and coaching staff for you know bringing that along. Throughout the first half, you went eight for eight. You had some really good passes, good on the money. How, how, what were you guys saying before you went on the field for that last drive in the first half? Man, we were going to score. I mean, I don't, every time I step on the field, I'm, I'm going to score. That's my mindset. Uh, nothing changes. So, you know, as soon as I cross that line, I, I strap that helmet up and I'm ready to go rip it. So, you know, that's how we felt. And um, obviously we converted on third down there and Eric made a heck of a catch. I think it was one-handed. And then, um, you know, had some other guys make plays along that drive and getting open offensive line, doing a great job in two minutes. You know, you're always going to get stunts and stuff up front and games. And uh, they did a great job picking all that up and picking up the pressure tonight from Oklahoma State. Do you think this is the most complete game you guys played so far this season? I think offensively, I'd say so. You know, I think uh, minus the first two drives of the game where we got down there and didn't kind of stall it out. Um, I think that was obviously our, our, our best game offensively we played. And I think that was just kind of building off of last week and some of the things we did last week. And so, you know, now we're focused on building off this one and, and rolling into, you know, this bye week and getting better. Um, you know, focus on getting 1% better every single day and, and then rolling into this Arizona game. And uh, we're going to have our, our ears pinned back and ready to go. So, uh, I think we're just going to continue to develop on our offense and um, just get better each and every day. Two more big catches for JP and, and big moments tonight. Just talk about what he means to you in this offense. He's a stud. I mean, he's uh, he's one of those guys you can't replace. You know, he's truly a guy that when I feel like I need somebody to be open or I need him to to do something, he he's always showing up. He's always there. Um, he, he he's a great route runner. One of the best I've been around. One of the best I've seen. Um, he's just ability to get open and understand football. You know, his dad played quarterback, so I'll give uh, you know Mr. Richardson some credit for that. So, but JP's got great you know football IQ and he understands how quarterbacks think. And so when receivers understand that, uh, they make themselves a, a great option. And so that's what JP does, and that's what makes him so special. Uh, he's a tough, gritty player. Uh, you're not going to find a tougher guy, more competitive guy. And um, you know, I'd run through that wall for him. <clears throat> questions for Josh like you said he's a really competitive guy and he, he plays 100 percent every play do you, do you think there is any extra motivation for him to not to play like he did against his own team? <laughs> I don't know it's probably a better question for him but I'd, I'd say he uh definitely you know had bad intentions so I think we all did you know it's anytime you're playing a conference game or any game you know you only get so many of these to play in life and so you know we all take this so serious and we love it and we can't wait to get out there and and just have fun and be ballers and that's what we did tonight that's what I'm proud of our guys for it's just the way they you know just cut it loose and uh, went out there and played. Anything else for Josh? I asked uh, Coach Dykes about the offensive line can you just talk about them and how they progress as the season's going on? Yeah they do an awesome job pass protecting they've done that all year uh, done a great job pass protecting, and um, you know as the game as the season's gone on, you can see them you know playing together and doing a great job of kind of you know coming together as an offensive line and taking strides. And so I'm so proud of those guys. You know all of our all we play a lot of guys, which is you know isn't necessarily normal, I don't think. And um, so just the ability we have to rotate guys in there, that, and there's no drop off. You know just shows how how deep we are at that position and how many guys we have that can really play. And so uh, I'm incredibly thankful for those guys up front. Um, you know, they deserve so much credit uh, for what for what our offense does. So, you know, those guys go to battle every day and, you know, they're they're in the trenches, you know, banging it out. And um, I'm back there sitting pretty. So they're the ones doing all the dirty work and I appreciate it. Thanks, Josh. All right. Thanks, guys. Great question for Bud.
but you all held them 13 points. Is this, do you think it's the most complete game of defense to play so far this year? Uh, I would say most complete, but we still got a uh, room to improve. You're part of two takeaways tonight. Can you talk about just your, your plays? Uh, so pretty much, I feel like, man, that's what we base ourselves on. And we had three of them, uh, I think, if I ain't mistaken. Huh? I think you were part of two. Did you force a fumble? You're, you're, they had you down in the stat book. It's fortunate. But, I'll take it. Okay. Well, you, <laughs> you guys had three as, a, three as a team, and you had an interception. So just talk about that feeling that you get, you know, helping the defense. Uh, I feel like big-time players make big-time plays. So uh, being able to be around teammates that help me feel like I'm a big-time player helps me make the plays that I need to play make. Uh, pretty much it, man. We send our scenes out with a bang. And uh, no matter what bowl it is, no matter how it is, we plan on winning out. So we went out, do what we need to do, and go win the bowl game too. How was practice this week for you guys? Did you feel like this was coming for you guys, this type of performance? Uh, you know, pretty much. Uh, honestly, yes, because we worked all week for it. We, uh, we sat down when we needed to. We got our rest when we needed to. But when it was time to go, we went hard as we could. Uh, pretty much. That's what we. That's what we were like coaching over all week. Uh, once we get ahead, just stay ahead. Pretty much. Uh, and when we came out of halftime, like everybody usually be happy and different things like that. But we were also uh, actually talking about keeping our foot on their throats. Like every win. But how how special is this one for you? Yeah, this felt good for sure. Um, but you know, at the same time, I still have a ton of love uh, for those guys. I think that's what made it. You know, so fun, so good. Um, you know, I'm still you know great friends with a lot of those dudes. And, um, you know, got nothing but respect for Coach Gundy and Coach Dunn and really that whole staff. I can't say a single bad thing about that place. Um, they have a great program, and um, they fought hard. And, um, yeah, I love those dudes. It felt good, though, for sure. How much does it mean to you for the team to be bowl eligible? Um, it's a fantastic feeling. Um, you know, bowl games are, you know, some of the, you know, trips that um, you'll never forget. And to go to a place, um, you know, with your boys for a week and um, just bond, have fun with each other and um, get to play in a, a cool place against a, you know, a cool team most of the time, a team that you would never have played, you know, in your conference, whatever. It's just, it's fun, man. It's uh, definitely a good feeling. Um, so we're definitely going to, um, you know, finish this season strong. I don't have any doubt about that. And, um, yeah, it definitely feels good, though, to be bowl eligible for sure. Talk a little bit about the expanded role Savion has played in this offense over the last few weeks is how that's opened things up for you guys. Well, yeah, I mean, he's one of the – I say one of – he's probably the best athlete uh, I've ever been around. And, uh, you know, to see him – I don't think people really realize how good he was with the ball. I think people kind of thought of him as a, you know, red zone guy, go up and get it, kind of – maybe a little bit of a possession guy, but, you know, he's so electric with the football in his hands. And I think, uh, you know, him at running back just handed it to him and saying, you know, go do your thing. Um, it's helped us a ton, obviously. He's uh, played, you know, fantastic at, you know, running back and made, you know, a ton of plays out of the backfield for us the last couple of weeks. Um, and he's, you know, he's a great football player, but he's an even better person off the field. Savion's so humble and he works so hard and, um, you know, to see the success he's been having this season, I mean, uh, it's it's awesome to see. You, know, you like catching passes from Josh here before maybe catching a pass from Savion at some point? Um, we, we might, you know, chalk that up. We might chalk that up. Josh has been pretty solid all season, but does it feel like maybe I think since the second half of the Texas Tech game, and maybe he's taking this game to another level almost? Absolutely. I mean, people forget, I think, he's still young. You know what I mean? This is his first year, you know, having the full reins of, of the team. Um, and he's getting better and better every week. Um, you know, sky's the limit for him. He's, you know, uh, right now playing like one of the best quarterbacks in the country. And, you know, like I said, yeah, sky's the limit for him. He's, um, he's an unbelievable person, unbelievable player. The preparation that he puts into the game behind closed doors is stuff that nobody sees. Um, we see it, but, you know, uh, the, the average person, of course, wouldn't. But, um, you know, stuff like that is just what makes you respect him even more as a leader, as a person. And he goes out on Saturday and he executes. So um, I only expect him to get, you know, better and better. In the last three weeks, when, when the offense gets punched and defense gets up to score, you, you guys come out and punch back. 
the tonight, same thing. They score, you guys score, they score again, you guys score right immediately. The last three weeks y'all have done that. What what changed from that Utah game to the way you guys are responding now? Well, um, turnovers. It was a big you know, thing that we've honed in on. Um, if we win the turnover battle, we have a great chance of winning the game. And so we've really honed in on that. Um, and, yeah, just believing in each other as well. I mean, we know we have a good group. And, um, you know, every single time we're on the field, we have the utmost confidence in each other to go out and score the football. And so I think you've seen that um, the last couple of weeks. And I think that also comes from, you know, not turning the ball over, playing clean football. Savion, how good does it feel to get that win tonight? It feels great. We needed that win, especially to get that ball eligible. We needed that. Talk about your role in the offense and how it's grown. And, and do you like the direct snap you know, option, you know, just kind of that, that twist on the offense? Yeah, I love uh, getting the ball right now and just doing things with it. Because, I mean, I mean, if you watch my high school tape, I mean, that's all I did. It's the same thing what I'm doing now. But for my uh, offensive coordinator to notice that I was uh, producing doing that, it's a great thing. And I love that he using me like that now. It means a lot. I mean, because that's all I do it for them and my family. I mean, I come up here every day and look at them and work hard for them. So, I mean, for them to say that, I mean, I'm doing my doing my job. When you think about some of the, op uh, the weapons on this offense with you and JP and Jack, just how uh, how potent is this offense at this point now? How does good, good does it feel to, to be hitting your stride as an offense? It feels good, honestly, to see everything clicking on one level is like, it's great. It's just great to see, especially Jack. I mean, you got Jack on this side, you got JP. You you got a t great tight end, and you got me. So I mean, you can move me in and put Eric on the outside. So I mean, it's great to see that. Obviously, this time of year, everyone's a little bit banged up. But with the the different things you're asked to do in this offense, what are you doing recovery wise? How's the wear and tear on on your body? Man, playing running back is at this level is you take more leagues than like. Taking a lick from a DB out there on the perimeter is way different from taking licks in the box. Like, I mean, I, only thing I do every day, they, they take it easy on me at practice, but I cold tub and sure, I stay in the training room. That's it. Do you also kind of enjoy, like, truck that defender in the fourth quarter? Do you also kind of enjoy getting some of that contact? Yeah. Yeah, especially with a DB. I mean, now with a linebacker, I have to make a move. But now a DB or somebody like that, yeah, I'll do that. A touchdown pass to Jack. You got somebody, and you did that at Marshall all the time. Do you, mm -hmm. do you ever uh, tell Coach Browse, Coach, I, I can still sling it around? <laughs> I mean, we have, we like sometimes we've been indoor and I just throw the ball like 60 to 70 yards and he'll put in a play the next day. So, I mean, yeah, he gets it. Savion, I was talking to JP about the way you guys respond as an offense the last three weeks. The, the defense might give up the score, but you guys go out there and score right away tonight. Y'all did it again against Oklahoma State. What what really changed for y'all to have that kind of success, the, the way you guys moved the ball now? I mean, honestly, I mean, everything was, like like I said earlier, like everything was just clicking. Like we was calling plays, like taking shots. Hoover was on point tonight. So, I mean, when that's all going good, I mean, you see what happened. Let's talk about his growth. This season is his first four years. Hoover has grown, and it's, it's crazy to see, like, Iowa State last year and when he first stepped into the role of being a quarterback to now he's, like, grown, like, so much. And it's for me, like, to watch him, like, come in as a freshman and then get a starting job, and now he's, like, the man around here. It's, like, it's a great thing to see. I love it. Development, but your journey and your role has increased every year too. As you look kind of at where you are at this point in your career and your season, and you look back, like what does it mean to you to be playing this kind of role on this team? It means a lot. I mean, like I like I said earlier, I mean, <clears throat> like anything for the team, if it works, I I'm, I'm there and I'm ready to go.